kings welcome or welcome back to another video on my channel today i'm gonna be answering some questions that you guys had about my council house so this is gonna be a video part number two of how i got my council house quicker than everybody else i mean i don't think i'm the first one getting but it's just the way the title is let's ask or answer the first question that was um when you apply for council house like and you got the house do you get to keep the house forever so there are some quiet points i need to let you guys know you do keep the house forever but you need to follow some regulations so after you get the house you have one year that you are not permanent uh, tenant in the house why is that because you may be a person that have a bad behavior or you don't pay your bills, uh, especially the council tax, TV license, and your rent, of course. I'm gonna give you guys some tips about those three um, bills. Rent, if you are in low income, you can either get help for council uh, housing benefit. So you get housing benefit, you can even get like the full payment or only like half. I get housing benefit, but I don't believe I get the full one because I always have to add some, but it's not really that much. So I don't have anything to complain and I'm happy. Like it's a help I'm getting. And when it comes to uh, TV license, I normally don't watch anything BBC or any like TV, uh, national TV, you know, so I don't pay uh, TV license, but for that you have to call the TV license uh, team and let them know that you are not using any of those channels. So they will automatically take you out of the list. But if you use, they will send you like a huge bill because you lied that you were not using. So that's my tip for that. And for the council tax, I have a son who is disabled. Um, and also I have, I'm a single person, single mom. So I get discount for single person, uh, disabled uh, discount, and I don't know, some kind of help that I get as well. So at the end of everything, sometimes I have to pay like, instead of, how much is the bill that I got today? Like I'm gonna take a screenshot and show you guys here, but at the end of the day, sometimes I just get to pay for the whole year, 65, uh, pound sometimes a hundred pounds but it's less less expensive that you would pay but if you are not in any of those categories like you will still have to pay the full amount you may be able to get some kind of discount if you of course your income is low but you won't get as much like as i do or any other person do depending on your circumstance uh how much is my rent so my rent is 77 and 89 pence per week so you do the calculus and you will know that how much is after the four weeks you get to pay every week or you can pay at the end of the month i pay at the end of the month because i don't get enough money to pay like every week so that is for the question that you guys asked let's jump to another one another question was do you really pay um do you pay like uh rent on council tax house i mean council house and if yes, like what makes so unique? I think it was something like that. And let me tell you all about it. Normally a house, that a private house, you will pay at least, depending on area you live. If you live in Leeds, the minimum you will pay is um, 500 in a good area. I mean, 550, 560 per month and you will pay a lot of bills that you will probably not get discount because you are able to rent a private house which means you do have a little bit more money than other people uh, of course that really depends on the situation if you are like in a private house because you are waiting to get council house that's a different situation but if you're like not bidding for any council house but you are staying in a private house that means that you are financially okay to pay a lot of bills without getting help from the government okay so let me answer your question the thing is you get a house that's council house like i said is way cheaper 
you pay like this is my rent that I pay I don't pay much more than 400 pounds in a month and this house is huge you guys saw like the kitchen is big the living room I mean it's big for me and my son I don't need a space that is much bigger than that because it means I'll have to clean more and you guys know as you guys already can see in the background I'm not the cleanest person you know I try to maintain my house clean as possible at least clean two or three uh, times a week but like I would hate my house was much bigger than that founding myself in a situation that I cannot organize everything so depending on how big your family is you may get a house from one bedroom two three four and so ever and you will probably be able to get help for housing benefits even if you don't get imagine you paying 400 pounds in a house that literally you don't have to worry all the time that the landlord will take you out of the house like this is one of the benefits and you don't need someone to um oh, how is it called um this is the name on the screen like because sometimes when you rent a house if your income is not too good you need someone else like to sign and saying that if you don't pay this person will pay and sometimes we don't have that person i've gone to this situation myself where i had to move from the house i was living um and i had to find a private house and i didn't have anyone to sign for me saying that if i don't pay the rent they'll pay of course i would pay but like they don't know you like so they need someone else to like say to have a stable job that will pay for your rent if you don't pay so it's very difficult to find a private house when you're in a difficult situation um and like i said that really goes towards of what kind of income you have if you have a good income you may not need this someone else to sign for you you probably will just go and find a house get the house and live happily forever but the bill that you will pay is literally more that you will pay like in a council house like i said my bill here my rent here is very cheap and I behave well. I do not like have any disagreement with my neighbors, which means I'm quite sure that I'll stay here for until April and the house will be signed up for me as, as a permanent tenant, which means that I won't get out of this house like never, unless probably someday I get the money to buy the house and I want to move to another area, which means like if you like after five years or like uh, when your income gets very good imagine you working on yourself saving and like open your own business to be able to save the amount you want to buy this house then you buy this house and you move to another house like it means you own a house like you do you know how big this is like you own a house especially uh, owning a house in a country that is not yours it's a big deal because like we don't get to go in every country and own a house you know unless you are rich like i said and uk is a good country in my way like in my eyes because you don't need to be rich to own a house like you just need to bid for a council house and when you get like work hard and stay in the house for quite long until you get financially okay you know you don't need to be you don't need to be rich you just need to be financially okay to get a house and your score needs to be good of course in case you want to like probably get a loan or a mortgage but i really don't think i'll get that if i one day want to buy this house i'll probably use just work hard and of i have my own plans of course i cannot say because they are not like there yet but i don't have a plan to like go and get a mortgage because it's just something that you have to pay like you don't pay the big the house but now you're paying this until you die like for me it's just ridiculous it's just a way to keep you making pay more money every year so depending on how you are like i said you will get this house after one year permanently yours like i said clean or you don't have to worry about many many things and if something goes wrong in the house you can just call the council and they will come and do for you while in a private house you need to pay for everything that breaks inside your house just like you know uh it's a long process like i said in the other video i'm gonna link in the cards or put down the long you guys can go and watch but at the end of the day you will get it like i go much easier because i follow the steps on that video you can also go watch and probably apply to yourself 
and believe me you will get the house quicker like you will it's more like probably you will definitely go the, get the house quicker so it really really does depend from situation to situation but i personally think it's a good choice it's stressful because you know at some point you will get but it's taking too long but you will get it at the end of the day if you're not over thinker or a person with anxiety like me you will be fine okay if you are probably you will have nights that you'll cry asking why it's taking too long but then you will get okay so hi guys i um had a anniversary party yesterday my auntie's 10th anniversary party so i have to leave the video without ending but i'm here now with a lot of cake <laughs> that I'm gonna be eating in a bit but I just wanted to close this video and say that I'm very thankful that you guys feel comfortable to ask me questions even though I'm just a newly counsel tenant uh, but I believe you guys still have a lot of questions and many things and if you don't know I have a son who is uh, or who has disabilities and if you guys have like um or are in the same situation as me who have like a son or partner or someone who lives under the same roof as you that does have some disabilities and you guys are struggling uh to know what kind of help the government is able to provide to you you can write down below in the comments and i'll make sure that i'll tell you guys all about it because right now like I, when i tell you guys all oh, my house is going through a lot of adaptations uh, I mean that it's not me paying like the council or the government it has a team that called like the adaptation team and this team comes to your house and see what you need um, not any house though like the council once you get the house I mean um, even when you start bidding you need to put that you are like gonna move to the house that they will give you with a person who has disabilities so this team will be working with you even before you get the house to make sure that the house you get it's appropriate for the person that's gonna live in the house who has disabilities and once you get what kind of adaptation they need to make to make your family comfortable inside the house so for me i got this house and they they thought the house was fine for me and christopher since it had the garden which was one of the requirements that the doctor said christopher needed um and I have stairs. They were looking to give me a house who is a bungalow, which is like a um, a house who have that everything is just downstairs. Doesn't have any, you know, upstairs. So um, it was impossible because it was getting too long, and I needed to move quickly. So they accepted this house, but at the same time they made sure that some adaptation would be made on the house which actually i'm gonna show you guys i don't know next video the other video because they will make uh, come here to make some adaptation and uh, they already made this um i already recorded for you guys i'll show you guys in the, in the video um that i'm still recording and waiting for all the adaptations to be made i don't know though if i'm gonna be able to show you the garden because i'm still waiting for the time they will come and put it and i'm not sure which date is it but it probably is still gonna be this month but i'm not just sure if it's gonna come out on the video that i want to i'll probably just make like an exclusive video about the garden but yeah guys like i just want to say with this that you guys can feel comfortable anytime to ask me anything about house about uh help that the government probably will give you if you like up looking forward to move to a council house with a person who has disabilities and so 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 into that but i love you guys you guys know that and i'm always very grateful that you guys subscribe and give comments and give a thumbs up and interact with me because i prefer having a smaller community that interacts to, with me than having a huge community that barely communicates with me so the fact that you guys ask me questions comment on my video give likes it's very rewarding for me and uh, for the time that i record and edit it just makes me feel like all the effort that i've been putting in the past till now it's actually painful 
but yeah i'll see you guys uh monday again and sunday on my other channel so if you want to subscribe go subscribe on lily rainbow channel i'll leave the link in the description and belong or also in the cards so you guys can go check it out and subscribe love you and i'll see you monday no sunday on the other channel bye bye pumpkins